Good morning, everyone, and a very warm welcome to you from the Hammonds in the Rectory of the Parish of St. Aidan's. We pray that you are well with your families. This video is to, to guide us on our participation in our upcoming services, this week's Palm Sunday service, Good Friday, and our Sunday morning Easter Mass. But before we begin, let us pray. I want to pray a prayer written to you by our lay minister and liturgist, Professor Betty Govindan. Let us pray. Holy God, loving Holy Spirit, you are our refuge, our stronghold, and our tabernacle. In these times of peril and danger, bless our sisters and brothers from our parish, our diocese, our city, our country, and other parts of the world who work in the front line of healthcare to stem the tide of the coronavirus pandemic. Cover them with your divine presence be their shield and defense, their mantle and cloak of protection. For Jesus Christ's sake. Amen. So here's a few guidelines for our upcoming Palm Sunday service. If you have been following our YouTube channel, Parish of St. Aidan's Durban Anglican, uh, you will find a link at the bottom in the descriptions of this video guiding you on how to make palm crosses even if you don't have palm fonts. The idea is that you would make your palm crosses before the service and you would have them with you for the Palm Sunday service. And when I ask for the blessing of the palms and the palm crosses, you would raise up your, your, your made palm crosses or your crosses that you have or your candles as explained in the video. I would bless them and that would be yours to keep. There is also a video which is also in the link below in the descriptions on how to set up your Eucharist table. For both Palm Sunday and Easter Sunday, you would need to set up your own Eucharist table at home so that your family can have communion with the rest of us wherever we are in our different homes. And so I ask you to please have a look at those links so that you can be ready for our Palm Sunday and Easter services. The idea of our YouTube channel is to try and provide you with a complete Eucharist service starting from the beginning of Mass, and if you're an Anglican, on page 104, and ending with Go in Peace to Love and Serve the Lord, incorporating all the different parts of our liturgy as we put the services together. So we hope that you would enjoy them as we do the best we can during this lockdown in South Africa. And then as you prepare for Easter Sunday service, our service will begin at 5 a.m., and if you are in a position or if you're able or your property provides you the space to light your own Easter fire, then you may do so. And so you would light your own fire in your own home, in your yard. And as I bless the fire, your fire will also be blessed. Because as I said in the previous video that we believe that the Holy Spirit transcends all space. If you're unable and if you're living in a complex or in a flat or if you're in a home that doesn't permit you to, to light an outside fire, then I would suggest that you would have a large Easter candle of your own, some candle that you can light that represents the fire, the Easter fire. And so as I light the fire outside in the rectory, you then would light your candle or your Easter fire. I will bless both your fire or your candle, which is also representative of the fire, the light of Christ. You would also need to set up your Eucharist table again for Easter Sunday service as we will be having a Eucharist Mass. And so you would set up before the service begins, which means that you're going to have to get up a bit earlier or you can set it the night before and have it all ready in the morning. You and your family can gather around the fire and then come into your homes. You would also need little candles or candles and I'm sure ESCOM has provided you with those candles because of load shedding. You more than likely have some candles lying around in your home in case the lights go out. And so you would take those candles and you would light them at the beginning of the service, at the second Christ our light. You would have on-screen directions to, to tell you when to light your candles in your homes. You would also then need to relight those candles during the renewal of baptism vows. And so I hope that these guides to Palm Sunday and Easter Sunday would help you prepare in advance for our services that are coming, coming up. The third and final comment or the third and final announcement that I want to make is that we as the parish of St. Aidan Durban 
are supporting the Dennis Hurley Center in their feeding scheme of the homeless in our city. They are feeding the homeless every single day. They are feeding about a thousand people every day and they are looking for assistance from the neighboring parishes. We as a parish are making contributions towards that initiative. And so if you'd like to contribute towards the Dennis Hurley Center feeding scheme of the homeless, they're also providing blankets, they're doing a whole lot of things. And if you want to know more about that, please click the link, send me an email and I'll give you more details. The email will be in the descriptions below. We also have our parish bank details in the descriptions below. And if you'd like to contribute towards that initiative, you can make a transfer into our parish bank account and you must stipulate that it is COVID Dennis Hurley Center or DHC. We will then send your contributions or your donations to the Dennis Hurley Center. So I thank you. I hope that you've enjoyed this little snippet of what's coming up. Please don't forget that as you try to do your bit, stay home, sanitize, but also contribute towards the Dennis Hurley Center COVID initiative. God bless you. God keep you. And God protect you. For Jesus Christ's sake. Amen.